Juice TV is coming at you six ways from Sunday, here to deliver you your weekly fun fix. The Mackay Hospital security team springs into action to bust some boredom on the kids' ward. We share a special day with Tyler and his family as he celebrates ringing the bell. Mylan and Libby go head to head in the cotton ball challenge, and Poppy discovers that there is magic around every corner of the hospital. This episode of Juice TV is proudly supported by founding partner, the Children's Hospital Foundation. Hi guys, I'm Abby and welcome to Juice TV. We have a great show today, starting with a trip up north. We're heading to Mackay to meet the security team. They protect, they serve and they bring joy to the children in hospital. Hey guys, I'm Ash, I'm a security supervisor here at the Mackay Base Hospital and this is my team. We're here for staff and patient safety and things from fire alarms to even going down and wrangling with the odd poisonous snake. Snakes! Don't worry mate, there's no snakes in here. And one of the best things about our job is making sure that the kids stay entertained. Whether we pass them in the hallway, have a quick chat or a joke with them. Or we've got some awesome colour impacts for the kids. What have we got going on, mate? By the looks of it, it's children and adolescents ward, mate. Bed seven. I think he's bored and he needs one of those activity packs. I'm on it. Just a thing for you. Here you go, mate. Thank you. That's awesome. You're welcome. What are you doing? Rubber tame blue. Look at the sticker. Yeah, blue is my favourite colour. Okay. This is awesome. You killed my boredom. Thanks so much, guys. You're welcome. Let's go, boys. Well done, boys. That's one happy little kid down there. Job well done. Hospital secure. Go, team. How cool are the Mackay security team? They prove that you can be big and tough but have a heart of gold. Let's ride those good vibes until the next story. Tyler is in the Mackay Base Hospital and he's about to ring the bell. I'm Tyler, a five years old. I love race cars and trains and my style is the super play. I'm so burning something special. I'm ringing the bell. Hi, I'm Pam, I'm Tyler's mum. My son has been getting chemo for just over 12 months now. He first came in when he was four years old on his fourth birthday. And he has been a brave, tough little soldier throughout. We are so, so happy to see him up and walking and running around again. And today finishes his chemo. Tyler, 
uh, when he first came in was a brave boy. Uh, the nursing staff at the hospital were amazing. They really supported our family and Tyler throughout this process. Hi, I'm Leah and Tyler's older sister. Tyler and I have so much fun together. We love skating, running around and water fights on the trampoline. When Tyler was getting treatment in the hospital, I sat next to him, hung out and had Milo and showed him my support. I'm so happy about him getting better and being so brave with his treatment. Now I can run around and play with him like I used to. Hi, my name's Karen, I'm Tyler's nurse, so I've been looking after him since he was diagnosed and since he came back to Mackay to have his treatment. Um, he's been an absolute brave little man when he's had his treatment. I've never seen someone sit so still. Even when he was scared, he still sat still. He was an absolute uh, champion with all, through all of his treatment, so he's a pleasure to look after. And it's lovely to see that he's now finished. No more chemo! Well, thank you all for coming and helping us celebrate Tyler's bravery then now that he's finished all of his treatment. So I'm just going to read this little rhyme behind him just to, to show you how brave he's been. Ring this bell three times well, it's told to clearly say, my treatment's done, this course is run and now I'm on my way. Congratulations Tyler, there's your trophy. Well done. Can you ring the bell for us now? Thanks for helping us celebrate Tyler's bell ringing ceremony today. Bye bye chicken dinner! Hi guys, I'm Mylan. And I'm Libby. And today we are doing the Cotton Bowl Challenge. The rules are simple. All you have to do is get as many cotton balls as you can on this spoon and put them in the bowl on your head. The only catch is that you're blindfolded. Like this? Exactly. But you have to have only five scoops. Aww, I'm scared. <laughs> I felt them fall on me. Mommy, you holding the bowl, right? <laughs> This is crazy. Two more. All right, Louie, now it's time. <laughs> what? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, that's not a lot. I bet I can beat you. I'm sure you can. Mm -hmm. Here's the spoon. Thank you. Here's the bowl. I'm pretty happy with that score. Are you ready, Mylan? Yes, I am. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Where's the bowl? Yeah. Oh, okay. finished. Ding, 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 ding. Time's up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Only five? <laughs> you take some out. I didn't touch them, Marlon. I swear. <laughs> Did you really? I did nothing. <laughs> I think you took some out. I didn't touch the bowl. I oh swear. No. Okay, guys, I think we will wrap it up this time. I think I won because Libby is disqualified now. Excuse me? Well, if I'm disqualified, then here's your trophy. 
see ya. No, see ya. <laughs> okay, bye guys. We want you to be a part of Juice TV. We're always on the lookout for hosts, interviewers, behind the scenes helpers, and mini producers. You can be any age, you don't have to have any experience. How much easier could it be? To find out the next time we're filming at the hospital, just head to our website, juicedtv.com.au or our Facebook page. For loads of fun to break up your stay in hospital, join the Juice crew. Send us an email at hello at juicedtv.com.au or speak to any of the volunteers wearing green shirts throughout the hospital and let them know you want to be involved in the one and only Juice TV. Wow, wasn't that amazing? Alrighty guys, it's time for the final story of the day. Our friend Poppy has uncovered a hospital security guard who can bring magical worlds to life. In the days of old, much of the world was left unexplored and shrouded in mystery. Back then, people believed in far more magical things, like the existence of fairies. As a matter of a fact, some people still believe today. This is Donna. You may have seen her working as a security guard around the children's hospital, but like many things in this world, Donna is more than what she seems. And she is bringing fairies to the hospital. Let's get to the bottom of this. So Donna, what do you think about fairies? Oh, I love fairies, Poppy. I love fairies so much that I actually write about fairies. And when my, my, when my daughter was younger, about as big as you, I used to tell her stories about fairies and make up stories about fairies for her. What do you think? I think that they're very lovely creatures and they look very nice. <laughs> so there's a rumour that you bring fairies into the hospital. There is. There is a rumour. I'm donating all these books to the Scholastic Book Bunker at the hospital here at Lady Salento's for all the children to read every day. So you're an author as well as a security guard? I am Poppy, yes. I actually work here at Lady Salento's Children's Hospital as a security officer to look after children like you and to protect everyone. So what's that like? It's very rewarding. I really, I really do enjoy it. So it's, um, you're helping people all the time mm. and I like helping people. It's mm. really good. Where'd you get the inspiration to write this book? Telling stories to my children. I used to tell bedtime stories to my children and make up stories for them. How did you get into writing books? Well, Poppy, I, I really enjoy writing. Um, I've been writing, it was one of my favourite subjects at school. Um, I also wrote, you know, with poems and I started out with writing poems and songs when I was at school. And it's kind of like just gone from there. So from a passion that I had when I was a kid myself, I've turned it into, we're turning it into a career now, so, or, or a, a second career, which is really good. So what's the book about? Poppy, my book is about fairies. It's, it's about a little girl who has a fairy who comes to visit her in her garden. So she um, goes out into her garden, just at home, and that's when her magical little friend comes to visit her. So do you have any advice to anybody else in the world, and including me, who likes to write books? My advice is, is to just write. Write whatever it is that makes you happy and what you know about. Sometimes not even what you know about, but what makes, what makes you happy. So what do you like to write about? Um, well, I write some, some scary stories that are called chills, and it's just about... Um, a costume that turns real, a zombie costume, where it turns you into a real zombie and then when you go out trick-or-treating, it's like real. Oh my goodness, I think I'll stick with the fairies. Mm. It's way too scary for me. That mm. sounds awesome. So would you mind sharing some of the book with us? I would love to, Poppy. Fairy, fairy upon my brush, do you see me at all? I dare not move, not one inch, as I fear you may fall. Fairy, fairy, in my bird bath, do you see me at all? I watch you with a smile upon my face as the water flows off your wings like a waterfall. Fairy, fairy, flying around my favourite tree, do you see me at all? See, I told you there was going to be fairies in the hospital. This 
hospital is filled with magic. Hmm, I think that's why the fairies like it here. As we wrap up today's show, I want to leave you with a little tip. Spread love everywhere you go. I'm Abby. Bye! Let's ride all those good vibes into the next story. Hey guys, I'm Ash. I want secure security. <laughs> but the only thing is that you're blind. What? <laughs> Tyler was a brave boy when he first came into the hospital as he's. <laughs> that kid there, bed six. He looks out of his mind and bored. <laughs> Kids just like you and me are cared for in hospital by some amazing superheroes. And now GTV are inviting our patients and family to recognise your favourite hospital superheroes at the Queensland Children's Hospital. Visit gtv.com.au Fill out a superhero nomination form with an adult's help, telling us in 150 words or less why they're your superhero. So what are you waiting for? Get your superhero nomination in now! Truth TV Superhero Awards, proudly supported by True Super. Q Super is different in a positive way. As Queensland's largest superannuation fund and one of the largest in Australia, they take real action to support the well-being of patients and workers in Queensland's healthcare sector. Q Super are passionate about recognising the superheroes in our community and support the work they do in providing emergency and primary healthcare services for our members and all Queenslanders. Remember guys, it's so easy to be a part of Juice TV. Whether you want to be a host, help us out behind the scenes with filming, or decide what goes into each episode. Let us know you want to be involved by sending an email to hello at juicetv.com.au or speak to one of the friendly volunteers throughout the hospital in the green shirts. Also head to our website and Facebook page for all the updates about what we're filming at the hospital.